Hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update. In today's video we'll be exploring a fascinating topic that has been making waves in the financial world at the potential flotation of the Iraqi Dinar. As you may know, the Iraqi Dinar has been facing some challenges in its value against the US dollar, and the question of how to address this issue has been a subject of much debate. According to the article by Newshound Guru Claire, one potential solution that has been proposed is the flotation of the Iraqi dinar. But what exactly does this mean, and what are the potential implications? Well, the article explains that the flotation scenario would involve the withdrawal of the monetary authority as the main central ephora of foreign currency, and its replacement by new forces of free market makers. In other words, the central bank would no longer be the primary supplier of foreign currency, and instead, the market would determine the exchange rate through the forces of supply and demand. This is a significant shift from the current system, where the central bank plays a more active role in managing the value of the dinar. The article suggests that this change could have some profound effects as the new market makers would certainly have only a weak, limited supply of foreign exchange. So, what might this mean for the Iraqi economy and the value of the dinar? Well, the article suggests that this scenario could help address the troubled price of the dinar against the dollar. By allowing the market to determine the exchange rate. The hope is that the dinar's value could become more stable and better aligned with economic realities. However, it's important to note that this is not a simple or straightforward process. Transitioning to a floating exchange rate system can be a complex and challenging undertaking, with both risks and potential benefits. One of the key considerations is the potential impact on the Iraqi economy as a whole. A floating exchange rate could introduce more volatility in the short term, as the market adjusts to the new forces of supply and demand. This could have ripple effects across various sectors, from trade and investment to consumer prices and inflation. Additionally, the article suggests that the new market makers may have a weak, limited supply of foreign exchange. This could potentially lead to a shortage of foreign currency, which could further complicate the situation and create new challenges for businesses and individuals who rely on access to foreign exchange. It's also important to consider the role of the central bank in this scenario. If the monetary authority steps back from its traditional role as the primary supplier of foreign currency, it will need to find new ways to maintain economic stability and ensure that the transition to a floating exchange rate system is as smooth as possible. Ultimately, the decision to float the Iraqi dinar will be a complex one, with many factors to consider. It will require careful planning, coordination, and implementation to ensure that it achieves the desired outcomes and minimizes the potential risks. As you can see, the potential flotation of the Iraqi dinar is a fascinating and multifaceted issue that deserves close attention. I encourage you to stay informed on this topic and continue to follow the developments as they unfold. Please let me know if you have any other questions or if there's anything else I can assist you with. Thanks for the watching my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update.